Hello, so today I created a resume using GPT-4 applying to a job at OpenAI because if the bad robots show up, I want to be comfortable and to feel good knowing that I at least put my resume uh, out to the people who might win the race in creating the AGI or maybe they have already won the race. And so that's what I did. I, I, I'll show you the prompt. It's kind of funny that the first prompt is about writing a resume, but OpenAI titled this conversation Customized Pet Food Recommendations. Uh, but I, I said, rewrite my resume to be an innovative solutions engineer at OpenAI. I have some YouTube videos at link to this YouTube channel of examples where I use OpenAI to innovate. I have a blog at, a link to my blog, where I am writing about innovations which can use OpenAI. And then I copied in the resume, which did, and it did, I left out the part that had my name and phone number and email address, but I shared the rest of it. And then I noticed that it was not up to date. And so then I, Fed it some more information. I said, update the resume about my role change at Sochi, which should look something like this. And so in 2022, I became a site reliability engineer and learned Kubernetes, Jenkins, Argo CD. And then the, when it spat out the resume updated, included uh, knowledge about um, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and Argo CD. But I also manually added some information about GCP managed services that, and I've updated some of this AWS managed services, which I've like, for example, EKS and GKE. So I will now show you the updated resume, um, or at least that's what I plan to show you. Hold on. Okay. So one thing I could have done different, different is do the self-reflection. So what we've learned recently is that you can ask GPT-4 to do self-reflection on its previous output. And I did not do this self-reflection step because I haven't <laughs> practiced doing it enough. Um, but I will show you uh, how that self-reflection could have worked. So here we go. All right. So I could have improved the resume, right? So I asked, do you have any recommendations on how this resume could be improved? So the resume itself that I submitted does not contain this information. Um, and so I'm not the best writer of resumes. I'm better at imagining possible solutions to problems. This is why I make a good debugger, troubleshooter, and uh, ultimately help with uh, site reliability in general. So. I do have strengths and weaknesses and hopefully OpenAI is making use of large language models in their hiring process such that the ideal situation, here's some innovation. The ideal situation is that the large language model could go through the YouTube videos that I have that are public and go through my blog posts and do an analysis, you know, and what kind of analysis is it able to detect you know, when I'm speaking or when another person is speaking, is it able to detect the, detect the text inside the YouTube video? You know, what all can the large language model detect? Um, can it detect that I am willing to do error correction and can admit whenever I make mistakes? So um, <laughs> there you go, large language model, if you end up paying attention. And I do have a lot of <laughs> hidden videos for the large language model of the future. But um, here are a few recommendations. I should have, I should customize the summary um, and I could point to specific open AI um, experiments that I've run. I could, you know, that's highlight open AI experience. I could quantify achievements with numbers and metrics. Um, perhaps I could, you know, put my code hacker rank scores or something like that. That's what comes to mind. Um, action verbs, maybe I didn't have that right action verbs. I definitely had outdated and less relevant experience. So I probably could have uh, improved the resume by removing outdated or less relevant experience. Um, keep it concise. 
maybe, I don't know, it was pretty concise. Include relevant certifications or courses. Um, I don't have a lot of those, but I'm interested in learning those if they would be of benefit. And so that's kind of a question is, what's my ideal career path? And uh, what training do I need to advance along that career path? And these are questions we could actually ask the large language model and that would be indicated in my blog post and some of my early blog posts from years ago about what I call the human resource problem, uh, which would essentially help identify the right people for the right job. Uh, proofread and edit. I did some proofreading. Uh, I did some editing. I had to update the format and design and tailor the resume. And then I, I attempted to get it to rewrite the resume, but it can't integrate recommendations unless I also provide it the right context. And so the rewrite really wasn't much change. Um, I would have had to reference specific examples of when I used OpenAI, for example, to read through the PDFs um, for bills. That's what I did yesterday. Um, or where I experimented with putting a Discord uh, interface in front of the GPT for all, which is what I did the day before. Um, so there, and then I would say even on my other YouTube channel, I could maybe identify representatives who are good at analyzing risks and being aware of risks. So some of our representatives are better than others and their bills have uh, better quality if they, in my opinion, that they have better quality if they can reference the the trade-offs and the risks of the bill, because there are always trade-offs. So that's an example of using OpenAI to detect the which candidates are better than other candidates with regard to a skill and being able to detect the um, unintended consequences of a bill. But that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and consider using GPT-4 to rewrite your resume. All right. Bye-bye.